In this video, we're going to learn how we can use Google Sheets to add a few buttons and allow those buttons to manipulate our screen. So to start off, we're going to go to sheets.google.com. You'll see this will take us into the interface where we can create a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click a new, click the new here. And uh, this is going to open up my spreadsheet interface. I'm going to give this one a name. I'm going to call this Inventory Sheet. And now I have this inventory sheet that I can start adding to and, and changing. So I'm going to give this a couple of uh, column headers. I'll give it a product name, I'll give it a lot size, and I'll give it a uh, count. And now I have uh, some products I could fill in. So, you know, if I wanted to say, for example, say soda, you know, soda is going to come in 24 ca uh, cases of 24 cans, and we'll just say zero. Now, if I want to be able to manipulate one of these values, I can use my script editor to do that in conjunction with some drawings so that I can make it look like there are buttons. So the first thing I want to do is open up my script editor. Go ahead and click Tools, Script Editor, and that's going to pop up in my script editor here. And now I'll be able to create a new, some new code. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this off to start. I'm going to save this. We'll say code for inventory sheet. Give that a name. We'll save that. You know, we can save it just by hitting this button or hitting Command S if you're on a Mac or Control S if you're on Windows. Now that we have that, we can actually create a few uh, a few different uh, functions here. So I'm going to create a function that I'm going to use for a couple of a uh, couple of my rows here. I'm going to call this function uh, modify cell, and I'm going to give this two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the cell name, and then the second parameter is going to be whether or not this is increasing. And in this uh, function, what I'm going to do is access a cell. So we'll go ahead and get the range first. Say var range is equal to spreadsheet app. And then we'll get this nice autocomplete dialog. That's nice. We'll get the active sheet. And then we're going to get the range based on this cell name. Once we have this, we can actually very easily change, but we need to know whether or not we want to increase it by one or decrease it by one. So we're going to create a second variable here, and that second variable is going to be called to add. And we'll go ahead and call that negative one. And if we want to increase, we'll call to add one. And what we're going to do here is if we need to increase, we'll add one to the value we've, re we've retrieved. And if we don't, we'll add negative one, which will be the same as subtracting one from that value. So now on the next line, I will say range dot set value, and here we will actually give it range dot get value uh, plus to add. So now when we call this function with the particular cell name and whether or not this should increase, this will either add one or subtract one from the cell we set. So I'm going to say add a new function here. We'll call this function increase line two. And now we're just going to call that modify cell. Modify cell, cell name is going to be, well, it's going to be the row two. And we're looking at the cell C. If we go back to our spreadsheet, you can see here, this is the one we're going to want to modify, so C2. So here we're going to give this C2. And then we're going to pass in true because we want to increase. We'll also create a function called increase line, or I'm sorry, decrease line two. And we'll call modify cell again with C2. This time we'll call it with false. Now if we save this, we'll be able to go back to our sheet and create some buttons. So we're going to go ahead and create a drawing. We'll go to insert drawing. And we have a few different shapes here that look like buttons. We can really select any of these, but we'll go ahead and pick this one because I think it looks kind of like a button. We'll click that. You know, we get this nice big blue and we can edit the text on that. We'll give it a plus. We'll go ahead and put that in the center. Uh, we use here. We'll go to more and we will select center. There we go. We can make that bold too if we wanted. And then just make it quite a bit smaller. Maybe a little bit bigger than this. There we go. All right. I'm going to save and close that. And you'll see here we get this drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over to here. And go ahead and close the resulting dialog. Now if I click on this, you'll see this nice little pull-down arrow. If I click on that pull-down arrow, I can assign a script. And we'll, we called our function over here, increase line 2. So 
we're just going to type in here increase line 2. And now when I click this button, it's going to ask for authorization first. I'll hit continue and we'll say okay, we can we can modify the spreadsheet with the script editor. And I click this button and that's going to run my script and you can see here each time I hit that button it's going to increase by 1. If I want to increase if I want to create a button for decreasing, I'll just go ahead and uh, I will hit insert drawing. We'll do the same thing again. We'll just create a shape here. We'll go ahead and make this a bit smaller again. We'll edit the text. We'll put a minus sign on this time. Go ahead and center this again. Now we'll save it and close. We'll move this right up beside our other button. And I'll select for my pull down assign script. And we called this function decrease line 2. There we go. Now, if we click that button, you'll see that's going to decrease our value. So now we're able to manipulate the spreadsheet just by clicking these buttons, which is going to call into our JavaScript code, which is going to modify these values. So that's all we have to do to add buttons and start manipulating our spreadsheet using some extra JavaScript code. Thanks for watching.